Hello everyone, welcome to our talk today. I am Mang Mang Cai, PhD, JD, attorney at law at New Wei Ming Law Group. The topic for this talk is New Visa Bulletin for November 2018 and beyond. Well, I give this talk because some of our clients requested updated information regarding the Visa Bulletin. Well, frankly, unfortunately, there is not much to say. The most recent Visa Bulletin, there is virtually almost no change from the last visa bulletin for October 2018. As we know, for background information, the visa bulletin is maintained and published by the State Department in each month, usually around the 10th of each month. And afterwards, the USCIS will decide whether to use the filing date or the final action date. Originally, the idea is the applicant can file the 485 application when the filing date becomes current and uh, the case may be adjudicated or approved when the final action date comes. However, in the past month, the UICS, with their wisdom, they require applicants to use the final action date to determine whether they can file I-485. And still, another change recently, for October and November 2018, and maybe for the foreseeable future, the UICS changed back to allow individuals to use the filing date to determine whether they can file 485 or not. But either way, uh, it appears that the applicant may need to wait until final action date is current in order to get their 485 approved. So this may cause a longer waiting time, longer processing time for the 485. Now, specifically, in summary, for November 2018, as I said, basically there is no change in most part of the visa bulletin for employment-based green card. The filing date, which determines whether you can file F-85 or not for November. For EB-1 category, there are cutoff dates or waiting time for all countries. So, in other words, for applicants born anywhere in the world. And specifically, for those applicants born in India or mainland China, well, the cutoff date remains at October 1st, 2017, so about one year of waiting time. In other words, after you file I-140, you may need to wait at least one year before you can file I-485. After you file 485, you may need to wait another year to get it approved. So altogether, if you start filing your EB-1 I-140 application today, you may expect to wait two years or even longer before you receive your green card. How about other countries? Well, applicants born in other countries outside of China or India, uh, their cutoff date for the EB-1 category is June 1st, 2018. So the waiting time is much shorter, although there's still some waiting time, uh, simply because there are more and more EB-1 applicants. And then for the EB-2 employment-based second preference category, only China and India have waiting time, which is June 16, 2015. For all the other applicants, there's no waiting time. And for the EB-3 category, again, well, only applicants born in mainland China or India, they have waiting time, which is August 8, 2015. For the rest, well, they do not have this waiting time. So what's the take-home message summary out of this raw data? Well, again, you know, if you were born outside of India or mainland China, or if your spouse was born outside of India or mainland China, congratulations, you can apply NIW or EB-1 or EB-3 and get your green card relatively fast. So take the opportunity while it's still available to you. What if you were born in India? As we know, there is long waiting time for the EB-2 and EB-3 categories. However, in certain times, it may still make sense to apply EB-2 and IW category. Why? Because, well, what if you are only qualified for EB-2 and IW? If your background is not good enough for the EB-1A and you have not obtained confirmed employer sponsorship, for EB-1B or EB-1C, what can you do? Well, you can file EB-2 first 
to get an earlier priority date. And later, when your case improves, when you are qualified for the EB1A, or you get sponsorship for EB1B, you can file a new EB1 application, and you can take the benefit of the earlier filed EB2 NIW priority date. So, for example, if you file NIW in 2018, and if you file your EB1 one year or two years later, then the combined result will be as if you filed EB1 in this year, in 2018. This will secure an earlier position for you in the queue for green card and help you get your green card faster. Well, if you have additional question about this, you can email us to get further explanation. So this is the information about new visa bulletin for November 2018 and beyond. How to get updated information is simple. Just Google visa bulletin and you can find the official announcement by the U.S. Department of State each month and you can get updated information. Okay, that's all for this talk. Thank you.